Welcome to this webinar on text analysis and natural language processing in MATLAB. My name is Daniel Winter and I'm an Applications Engineer at Optinum Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how you can use MATLAB to pre-process, analyze and visualize text data from files and use computer vision to recognize and analyze text from images or train machine learning algorithms on custom fonts. First, we need a little bit of background into natural language processing. Natural language processing is a field of computer science and artificial intelligence dealing with human language and how it is understood and processed by machines. Part of this deals with extracting insights from text data. These are a couple of the categories of natural language processing. The first is optical character recognition, which is recognizing and interpreting text in images. We can also use machine conversion of written text into spoken language with text to speech. We can define if a statement is positive or negative using sentiment analysis. We can convert spoken language into text and perform voice and language recognition. And we can create bots which answer user questions in call centers or online forums. So what can you do with text analytics in MATLAB? We're going to use a workflow to explore this. The first step of the workflow is accessing and exploring our data. We can read in text data from files or from images. We then want to clean up this data and discover insights. So part of this may be removing words, performing stemming. So stemming is finding the root meaning of a word with different representations. For example, the tense in run, running, and ran all stems down to the same verb, which is run. We want to be able to split our text into different words with the spaces in between. Maybe we want to do some optical character recognition if our text is contained within an image. We can perform text to speech, perform sentiment analysis, count the words within sentences or in our text file, or use an algorithm called word to vec This algorithm allows analysis of a word in context by mapping related words closer to each other in a vector space. So words like boat, harbor, and ocean would be more closely related to each other than to the word field. You can also use this to link the semantics of words, like the female version of a king is a queen, or a capital city would be closely related to the country in which it's found. The next step of this process is building predictive models. We want to tie our analytics into systems so that we can automate them using machine learning and deep learning models. One thing that we might want to do is perform predictive maintenance. This would be taking our text data from equipment log files to send the equipment to the right maintenance crew when that particular equipment is breaking down. So using this, we can automate our workflow. We may also want to automate sentiment analysis on a Twitter feed. The last step of the workflow is visualizing all of this analysis. So with MATLAB, you can use a variety of plots, including histograms and word clouds. We're going to have a demonstration using optical character recognition with the computer vision system toolbox in MATLAB. With OCR functionality in the computer vision system toolbox, you can recognize text and images, detect regions in an image that contain text, segment text from cluttered scenes, train classifiers on custom fonts and languages, and then integrate our analytics with machine learning algorithms for multi-class classification. In our demonstration, we're going to read in a road sign image. This is actually a handicapped parking sign. We want to detect regions in that image, so it's just a photograph, that contain text. We want to remove the non-text regions and then merge the regions which do contain text so that we read all of the text together. We then want to recognize that text with OCR and we want to visualize it. So we want to see if our prediction work was correct. 
So going into MATLAB, we're going to show how you can use the computer vision system toolbox and particularly the OCR function to detect and recognize text in a photograph. The first thing we're going to do is read in that image of a road sign. We're going to use an algorithm called MSER, which stands for Maximally Stable Extremal Regions. This helps us to detect different regions of text in the image. So over here, you can see that some regions are incorrectly identified as text. And we want to get rid of those. So we can perform thresholding in our next step and remove some of the non-text regions based on the geometric properties of text. The first thing we're going to do is check the aspect ratio of all the text regions detected in our image. So we know that on that wall region behind, those areas are way too wide to be text. So we're going to remove all of the areas which are too wide. Now we have a much better classification of what is text in our image. There are still some regions which are filled in. So we can remove some of those other non-text regions using the stroke width variation. Stroke width is a measure of the width of the curves and lines that make up a character. So text regions tend to have little stroke width and other areas in the image are going to have a wider or a much narrower stroke width. So all of our letters will tend to have the same stroke width. So let's remove all of the areas which are either too wide or too narrow. This is giving us a much better indication of the text regions. So now we have all of the individual letters identified. So what we want to do now is merge all of these individual regions so that we have a continuous area of text for OCR. So let's surround each character with a bounding box. You can see that these bounding boxes overlap with each other. We're going to use that overlapping of these boxes to detect regions which are continuous words or regions which are two different words. So we're going to merge all of those overlapping regions and get a single box around all of our text. Here you can see that we've detected the handicapped symbol and then all of the text in a separate box. Now what we want to do is use the OCR function built into the computer vision system toolbox to try and recognize the text within our bounding boxes. As you can see, the recognized text is displayed as an output. Only a single letter is incorrectly identified by the algorithm. Thank you for listening to this short webinar. Please contact us about getting started using text analysis and natural language processing in MATLAB. You can visit our website or contact our sales team for access to a free trial so that you can try out the tools on your own.